guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review and a demo of the new Glossier Invisible Shield Daily Sunscreen. Um, this has been amazing so far. It's not like any sunscreen I've ever used. So what I'm going to do is show you how it looks on my face layered over moisturizer and layered underneath makeup. So I'm also going to show you how I use it in my normal Glossier routine. And then I'm also going to swatch it next to a normal sunscreen, like a typical white um, sunscreen for your face, just so that you can get a look at um, how it looks on the face. Because I get a lot of questions about whether you can see this or not. Um, people with like darker skin tones can't really or don't really like wearing the normal sunscreens because they make you look gray or ashy and this doesn't do that because it's totally clear so I'm gonna do a review if you want to see how it looks then just keep watching and as always if you want to pick up anything from Glossier you get 20% off your order plus free shipping on $30 um, if you shop my rep link below and if you want to see my other favorites you can check out my other videos I'll link those down below as well but on my Glossier page you can see my top picks and then it'll automatically give you that 20% discount too if you want to pick this up so if you do please let me know um, and just keep watching alright guys so here are some basics so the invisible shield comes in this pink bag which all glossy orders come in it's so cute it's so useful I have like 3,000 of them now but they're useful for a lot of things um, it comes in this pink bag with whatever else you ordered and it also comes with uh, a sheet of Glossier stickers as well as the new summer sticker and a mirror decal that says every single day just so that you can remind yourself that you should be wearing sunscreen every single day um, it also comes with this little magazine that tells you a little bit about the product so I'm just going to give you some details on how this is different from other sunscreens um, if you are curious. Okay, so the first thing that I think is probably the most important thing is that if you are looking into anything that's anti-aging at all, the number one thing that you can do for your face in terms of anti-aging is making sure that you're protecting it from the sun. Um, because what the sun will do is it will basically break down the skin cells that you have and uh, free radicals in the environment from pollution and from just like where you live break down the skin cells and essentially cause them to uh, speed up and age and die. Um, so cells undergo this process called apoptosis and I know like the biologist in me is coming out now because <laughs> um, I am a scientist uh, but cells undergo cell death called apoptosis and that is essentially what aging is so if you don't want to see aging and you don't want to see any sort of wrinkles then you have to make sure that your cells are staying alive for as long as possible. So just to give you guys some information on sunscreen in general and SPF in general, um, the difference between something that's SPF 35 and SPF 50, there really isn't a difference at all. Um, SPF is pretty much the maximum. It blocks out like 98% of UV rays, I believe. So this is a really good number to have on the daily basis. Um, this is also a chemical sunscreen. I know some people asked whether this was physical or chemical. This is chemical. And the reason for that is because um, it wears better, it's invisible, you can't see it at all, so it makes it easier for you to actually wear Another it. reason why you should wear sunscreen is because pollutants, which are found in our atmosphere, anywhere that you live there's going to be pollutants. Um, pollutants are 20 times smaller than your pores, so they sneak in really easily and uh, there's, it's really hard to keep them out unless you are wearing a good sunscreen. And if you don't keep them out, then that's when they go in and they cause cell death or apoptosis, which leads to aging. Um, and by the way, this can happen while you're sitting inside too. So like I am never outdoors for work. I'm always indoors at my desk, at my computer. And if you have a similar job, um, if you sit in front of your computer for four days, that is equal to 20 minutes outside in the sun. So even if you never go outside in the sun or it's always cloudy, you want to be really careful that you are always wearing that SPF because you can get sun damage either way. And I know people say that like, okay, clouds are nature's sunscreen, um, but actually up to 40% of the sun's UV rays can still get through. And so people actually burn easier on days where it's cloudy because they assume that they don't need sunscreen. So if you do use sunscreen and a good number is about SPF 15 or higher, you'll show about 24% less sun aging and aging in general than people who never wear sunscreen. And you want to make sure that you are starting this early, so even if you are a preteen or a teen, you want to make sure you start as soon as possible, because by the time you are getting sun damage and you are a little bit older, um, I mean, it's not too late, but it's better to prevent that sun damage before you actually get it. 
So a little bit more information on the Invisible Shield itself. Um, this is a daily sunscreen, which means it's meant to be worn every day. Um, it doesn't clog pores, and I am someone who has crazy acne, as you guys will see in my demo video later on. And it is totally clear for women of color who might not be able to find like a, a sunscreen that doesn't make them look ashy. A couple other notes about Glossier, they are completely cruelty free and this sunscreen is vegan. So if you are someone like me who thinks it's important to try to be cruelty free when you can, all Glossier products are cruelty free. Um, this is vegan, the super serums are vegan, and a couple other products are vegan as well. If you want to know, just leave me a question and I can answer any of your questions about what products are vegan or which ones I would recommend. So if you guys want to see how this compares to a normal sunscreen and what it looks like swatched out, I'm also going to show you what it looks like over my blemished skin and underneath makeup. So if you want to see exactly how it works and listen to another quick review about it, then just keep watching. Hey guys, so this is the super cute frosted pink box it comes in. Their product packaging is so adorable. And as you can see, you've got the glossy stickers, the summer sticker, and the every single day decal that also comes with the order. And you get the invisible shield, which comes in this super cute summery neon yellow packaging. And of course, you get the pink bag and a white box, which is great for when you're traveling. Like I like to throw shampoo and like little travel bottles in those bags. It also comes with this really informative magazine that tells you a little bit about why you should wear sunscreen and what the sun can do to your skin in terms of aging so I love that Glossier tries to be educational as well in terms of like skin health so yeah that is super cute and super cool so as you can see the invisible shield comes with a pump so it's really hygienic and uh, it's really easy to carry around with you since it's a small size and when you pump it out it is clear and when you spit it out it's even more clear so I'm gonna compare this to the um, sheer ultra sheer dry touch by Neutrogena and this is oil free and it can it basically it claims that it is sheer and good for the face and this is what I typically used to use um, but as you can see it comes out white and so if you're darker than me then it looks a little bit ashy and even though it's 55 like I said before anything above the SPF 35 is overkill um, and again invisible shield doesn't look shiny it looks amazing under makeup and you just can't detect it unlike other sunscreens Hey guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is prep my lips with rosebalm.com. Um, this is one of the only lip balms that keeps my lips totally soft because my lips are perpetually dry. And this one smells like rose petals, but a little bit sweeter. So if you like the smell of roses, then you definitely want to pick up the rosebalm.com. Um, my other favorites are the coconut and the mint. Those are awesome too. I've always liked everything minty, including ice cream and like when shampoos feel minty, I don't know, I just really like the tingle, so if you want to check out my favorites, my two favorites are probably coconut and mint. Alright, next I'm going to go in with the Priming Moisturizer, which is the Buildable Hydrating Cream. Um, if you have like breakout issues like me, this is the best moisturizer from Glossier because it is just so light and it's not heavy, and, like you can't feel it on your face after, so um, I can't use like really heavy super moisturizing creams because they will break me out, unfortunately. So this has been a lifesaver because um, it's moisturizing and like it prevents me from getting too dry from like all of my acne meds and like, I don't know, just weather. But it's not thick enough so that you can see it, it doesn't look greasy, and it doesn't break me out. Um, it's also called the Priming Moisturizer because it primes your skin for makeup, if that's what you want. Um, if you put on foundation while your skin is like really dry or crackly then you can see the foundation on your skin and that's not cute so this creates a really pretty base for that foundation and then after you are done like with all of your serums and moisturizers and all that I'm just gonna use that moisturizer today then you can go in with the invisible shield and again this is uh, SPF 35 so I'm just gonna pump some out so that you can see it you honestly don't need that much, but you guys can see that it's like clear, which is really unique. I've never seen a sunscreen that is clear before. Most of them are white. Um, and I will show you guys like a, a swatch between this sunscreen and a normal sunscreen, um, just so you can see the difference. So I'm just going to go ahead and rub that in on top of the moisturizer. Um, as you can see, it just it fully disappears. Like it's totally, totally clear. 
and you don't need to use that much you just need to use a really thin layer um, make sure I have some on my forehead too because I burn the most on my forehead if you don't use sunscreen um, that's probably the worst anti-aging mistake and uh, I'm not gonna lie like I'm someone who never used to wear sunscreen or anything with SPF because I used to just hate like the smell of it and how thick it was and I didn't think it was necessary because like with my skin tone I don't typically burn but the issue is even if you're not burning you can still be getting like premature wrinkles and sunspots which is really bad for aging later on um, so you want to make sure that you are uh, protecting your skin with some sunscreen because otherwise your cells are damaged and they are killed by those free radicals. So as you can see, no white residue at all, totally clear as if you were wearing nothing, um, and that's why it's called Invisible Shield. So after this, I will layer some makeup on top. I'm going to use the um, Perfecting Skin Tint. I'm going to mix it in with another BB cream because I got a couple blemishes today, so I got to have some extra coverage, but I will be right back. Hey guys, so I'm going to go in with the Glossy Perfecting Skin Tint and I wear shade medium and I'm just going to shake it up a little so I can apply it with my beauty blender and I really like this because it is sheer, it is not too matte, it's not too glossy and it just looks like skin. So I pat this in with a wet beauty blender and as you can see it just looks pretty natural and glowy afterwards. Then I'm going to use the stretch concealer and my shade is also medium and I'm just going to gently pat this underneath my eyes. I know people think to seem to think that it, this is sheer but it's not, it's pigmented and trust me I know because I have the worst dark circles on earth that make it look like I haven't slept since the 16th century. So since I've got vampire skin, especially in the morning, um, I really need a good concealer and this is awesome because it's pretty yellow toned. After that, I just went ahead and threw on the rest of my makeup. Yay! I just went ahead and threw on some lashes, and now I'm going to go with the uh, boy brow to fill out my brows a little bit. And this is how I normally do it. I will first brush up the sprouts, and the sprouts are the cute um, baby hairs in the front that make you look really youthful. So you want to make sure those br uh, you brush those directly upwards. And then towards the tail of the brow, I will just follow the shape and make sure that it is all filled in. But I like this because it keeps every hair voluminous, and since I don't have hair, it is totally necessary. So that is my tutorial and demo and comparison on the Invisible Shield and other sunscreens. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know if you pick it up. Again, you get 20% off down below in the link below. So if you're interested, go ahead and check it out, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!